Welcome everyone to the channel. It's Yellow Plum 6. Today's video is going to be about the Daniel Fast and Biblical Fasting. I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you for the support. Thank you for continuing to watch the videos. For the first time viewers, please hit the subscribe button. Everyone, please um, share your input with me. Leave a comment and like and share on your other social media networks. So, with that said, I'm going to do the video, as I said, about Daniel Fast and Biblical Fasting. Many people don't really understand the concept of fasting or why to fast or how to fast. They don't know the difference between a fast and a, a diet because you can do a biblical fasting or you could do a diet fast. So during a biblical fast um, is a fast that is not slowly for weight loss. So even though you might lose weight during a biblical fast, you don't only do it to lose weight. You do it to draw closer to the Lord. During a biblical fast, you utilize the word of God. Uh, you read and pray daily. If you, The more you read and pray during a biblical fast, the better it is for you and your spirit. You have to study your Bible. You know, Make sure that you find that quiet time with God. Make sure that you go to your secret place. Uh, go to God, communicate with Him privately, find somewhere where you can be uninterrupted. Uh, in reference to Psalms 91, 1 and 9, where you know you must dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Go there, find God, talk to Him, listen and wait for His response. Uh, why should you fast? Many people ask me, well, what's the point of fasting? Um, don't Isn't going to church enough? No. You don't, you fast so that you can hear from God and to get more clarity. So some of the reasons why I decide to fast and other people, my peers decide to fast is that for one, for one, we want to draw closer to God. We want to have spiritual growth. We want to strengthen our spiritual needs. We want to strengthen ourselves towards God, hear better from God. We need clarity and guidance from the Lord. Uh, we, sometimes you're confused, you don't know what direction to take next with your life, so you go on a fast, and more, most of the time, God will lead you in the right direction, and he'll open up your eyes to different things that you were not aware of during your time of fasting. If something tragic has happened in your life, if someone has suddenly died and you're in a stage of mourning and sorrow, and you're starting to feel really down and out, go into a spirit, go into a time of fasting and prayer, and that can help to uplift your spirit and Clear your mind of all the negative energy and all the negativity that's going on around you. And fasting is also a way to help you become more humble before the Lord. It helps you to remain humble in your walk with Christ and not lose focus of what the purpose of living a godly lifestyle is. You don't start to focus on you and the talents and the blessings that God has done for you, but you realize that everything that we happen to us is only to His glory. And when you fast, it helps you to become humble and remain humble before the Lord and before others. So that's some of the reasons why I fast and what I do when I fast. Um, so the Daniel fast is a 21 days consecutive fast where you have to follow a strict diet. Uh, you can go on a 10-day trial, but I suggest, strong suggestion you do it for 21 days, which is three weeks. So during this time, um, when you do the Daniel fast, you're on a, a special diet where you, it's almost a vegan diet. So you have to, no meat, no dairy, nothing fried, no juice, no soda. It's mainly a vegetables and fruit diet and water. So... The Daniel fast is named after the prophet Daniel. He participated in this fast during a great time of sorrow in his life. And he restrained himself from certain diets from the king's food for 21 straight days. Um, you know, Daniel was during a time, like I said, he was in mourning and he was worried about the future of his people. And it was great grief. Uh, so, that, for two weeks before I... So what do I do to prepare myself for the fast? Two weeks before the Daniel fast, I I start to prepare my body for the fast and my mind. So what I do is that I start to go through my cabinets and my refrigerator and find out what things do I have in the fridge that will 
distract me during my time of fasting and I try to get rid of those stuff in those two weeks. Also in those two weeks before prior to the fast, I start to change my diet slowly so that when I do start to fast, it's not that difficult for me. It's not like I'm just going cold turkey and all the stuff that I normally would desire to eat. So I start to decrease my red meat and meat intake and I start to increase my vegetables. And I also start to increase the amount of smoothies that I drink and increase the amount of juices that I, cold pressed juices that I make. So I start to swap and change out my diet in preparation for the Daniel Fast two weeks prior. To be successful in the Daniel Fast, one has to plan. You have to plan what are you going to do? How are you going to pray? What would you like to pray about? What will be your focus points? What is the reason for fasting? You have to decide all of this prior to your fast. When you're doing a Daniel fast, as I mentioned earlier, it is a diet. It's a diet change when you're going through this fast. It's not just not eating for a certain amount of hours like when you do the 6 to 6. This fast you can eat any time of the day or night. However, you have to eat this rigid diet. You have to eat within certain amount of certain food categories. So you have to plan your meals ahead of time. If, to be successful, you have to plan because if you don't plan, you're not going to have anything to eat and you're going to be hungry and then you might end up making the mistake and eating something that is not on the Daniel Fast. So, so to reduce the chances of failure, you have to plan ahead. You have to say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, get a chart and decide what would you like for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. You have to, if you don't know a lot of vegan recipes, you can borrow a book from your local library or just Google it online, Daniel Fast Recipes. And a whole slew of different recipes will come up to help you and guide you throughout this three weeks fast. Uh, you know, make a shop, a grocery shopping list. Get rid of stuff that are, are not healthy or not going to profit you during the fast. Most important thing about the Daniel Fast is to drink a lot of water. You have to drink a lot of water because your body is going through changes that your body will not be used to, especially if you do not do the two weeks preparation prior to the fast. Drink a lot of water throughout the fast so you do not get dehydrated. Now, when you're going on to the Daniel Fast, you might feel a lot of nausea, headaches, and even some stomach aches. That's fine. That usually happens within the first two to four days. Do not be discouraged. Continue through with the fast. What I personally do when this happens to me is that I make teas. Note, you're not supposed to have any caffeine while you're on the Daniel fast. However, what I do, I make natural herbal tea. So I get ginger and radish or I would get um, garlic with radish and orange rind and I boil it, in, boil it out and then I drink that. So that's what I mean when I say you make your teas. But do not use tea bags. And no coffee, no caffeine whatsoever, no honey either. Uh, but the whole point of the Dino Fast is not to get lost and focus on what you're eating, but it's to hear from the Lord. So the whole point of the Dino Fast is to restrain your body from the desires that you have and to reduce ten temptation and things that you're eating and to focus on the Lord. So definitely when you're on the Dino Fast, you have to continue to pray. Set prayer goals, set time limits when you want to pray, and then try to increase your prayer time and your Bible reading time every day. So if you start out at 5, 10, 15, 20, continue to try to increase it and spend time with God and spend time in the Word and utilize the Word throughout the day and just be encouraged and do not, you don't have to let everyone know that you're under Daniel Fast when you're fasting, it should be a private thing. And there will be a point throughout the three weeks where you will be tempted and there will be something that will happen where it's going to be a test to determine how serious you are about this fast. And just remain focused. Always walk with some snacks. Always walk with some fruits or some veggies so that when those times do come up, you can have something to fill that gap so you do not fall fall into the temptation to eat something that is not on your fast. So just be encouraged, everyone. This was just a little bit about the Daniel Fast. I'll do another video explaining some of the recipes that I did. So just remember, the most important thing is to pray, seek God, listen for his voice, and be encouraged. Thank you for checking out this video. Stay blessed.